going to be an eye tutorial using shades that are more on the pink, rose tone spectrum, very similar to the new Naked 3 palette, which I am debating on whether or not I want to pick up. I have the Naked 1 and 2. I really love rose tone eyeshadows, but I just feel like those three palettes are quite similar, so I haven't decided yet. So I decided to come up with a look using the products I had. I stuck with all drugstore stuff, because so I know that that is something people look for sometimes, is drugstore options. So the eyeshadow I did today is all drugstore, more rosy, warm tones. So I'll zoom in so that you can see it. That's what it looks like there. It's got lots of pinks, some burgundies in there. Um, and yeah. It turned out really nice. I like it. Just keep watching to find out what I use and definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching. I'm starting off with this single eyeshadow in Creme Brulee from Wet n Wild. It's just your perfect kind of neutral cream color and I'm just going to place it down um, on my brow bone just underneath my eyebrow. Next, I'm gonna take this bronzer from NYC. The color is Sunny. I'm trying to keep everything drugstore. That's why I decided to go with a bronzer, but any matte brown shadow will work fine. And I'm going to take that and just place it into the crease. The majority of the shades that I will be using um, have shimmer or sparkle in them, so I still think it's really important to have just a nice foundation of a matte color in the crease, just to define your eye a little bit and break up the shimmer. Next, I'm taking this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink as a base just all over my lid. You can use a brush to apply this or your finger. Sometimes I find my finger is just a little bit easier to get into this inner corner here. And I've stopped this pink color right where it makes the crease and that brown color. Next, I'm going to use this eyeshadow trio from Wet n Wild. It's called Walking on Eggshells. I used to use it all the time. I'm going to take this bottom color here, the eyelid color. It's like a um, really nice neutral pink with a lot of shimmer in it. I'm just going to take it on a flat ended brush and place it down everywhere that I just put that Maybelline color tattoo. Now I'm going to use another Wet n Wild product. This is the Petal Pusher palette and this is what it looks like. I'm going to be taking this color right here which is like a pinky kind of burgundy color and I'm going to be putting on a fluffy brush and adding it into my outer V. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of that bronzer on a more precise blending brush and just add some more of it into the crease here. Just so everything's not quite so pink, it adds a little bit more dimension back into the eye. Also in the outer V. It also just takes down the sparkle level a little bit. But if you like the sparkle all over, then go for it. And now that I have a combination of those two colors on my brush, the purple and the bronzer, I'm just going to take what's ever left and drag it underneath my eye. Now I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend everything together, making sure there's no harsh lines left up here between the crease and the brow bone, down the side of the eye, into the center if there needs to be any blending done. I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. And lastly, just to brighten up the inner corners of the eyes, I'm going to take this brow bone color here, which is a really light, frosty kind of pink color. I'm just placing it on this inner part of my eye here, and also bringing it into the inner tear duct area. Now I'm just going to take a black eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. I'm going to place down a line. It's a little bit thicker towards the outside of my eye and gets thinner coming in towards the middle, but I'm not going to worry about how precise it is yet because I'm going to add some shadow on top. And taking a small angled brush, I'm going to go back to this palette and take this color right here, which is like almost a black with some pink kind of glitter sparkle in it, maybe even a bit of red. So I'm going to take that color because I think it's a really fun color to play around with. I'm going to place it down on top of that eyeliner that I did and just kind of wing it out, smudge it, wing it out a bit. All right, I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see it, but I think that turned out really pretty. I like that kind of darker with pink glitter liner that I have going on. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to apply mascara and then I'll show you what I choose, what I che decide to choose for my cheeks and my lips. All right, so I'm actually going to apply a nude liner from Rimmel just on my bottom waterline. You can see what I'm doing here. Just to brighten it up a little bit. I feel like my eyes are looking kind of tired today. 
and um, a little bit pink on their own. So I don't want the pink in my eyes to clash with um, pink of the eyeshadow. That's hard to talk and do at the same time. So yeah, this nude liner will just help brighten it up a little bit in there. If you want it to be more dramatic, you could definitely use black. You could tight line with black. Um, you can bring out the eyeliner more. You could use false lashes, but this is as far as I'm going today. So excuse the hair, I just got out of the shower, it's still dry, but the blush I decided to go with is from NYX and it's in Bourgeois Pig and it's just a really pretty um, medium tone matte pink blush that I think would go great with this or a lot of looks. So I'm going to pop that on. Alright, now for lip color. I really couldn't decide. I felt like maybe I wanted a nude lip, but then I was like, no, maybe I want a pink lip. So. I'm going to experiment with some colors like I do often. This is Rose of Attraction. It's from Maybelline. It's the Color Whispers. So I'm going to put that on first. And then I'm going to take this Maybelline lip gloss. Um, it's called My Gloss and I don't even know what the color is, but it's like a nude beige color. I'm going to put that on top and hope it looks okay. All right, so here's the finished look using drugstore eyeshadows to create a kind of pinky inspired look with a little bit of brown in there. Nothing close so you can see again. So that's my eyes. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like me using drugstore stuff sometimes for the whole look or if you like seeing a mix of things. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think down in the comment below. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.